Hello. Okay, in this video I want to talk to you about how to find the quartiles quartiles of a distribution. And really when you think about the quartiles, um, just to give you a definition here, the quartiles are basically going to be the percentiles or the percentile values uh, that divide a sample percentiles that divide the sample into quarters or into four equal parts. Um, and so really what you could do is you can think about this as there there are um, three key percentiles. Okay, and then the quartiles that go along with them. And so we've got, you can think of the 25th, Oops, 25th percentile, um, the 50th, and the 75th percentile. And those are going to correspond to quartiles of 1, 2, and 3. Okay, And so if you consider a distribution in terms of its percentile values going from 0 to 100, in terms of the percentiles, 0th percentile to the 100th percentile, there are three points uh, which will divide that sample into four equal parts, the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. And those correspond to quartiles 1, 2, and 3. Sometimes people refer to the low score in the sample as being the, the 0 quartile, or 0th percentile, that's the low, and the 4th point there as being the the highest value, so the quartile number four or the hundredth percentile in the distribution, that's the highest value in the distribution. But what we're most concerned with here is going to be um, one, two, and three, the first, second, and third quartiles which correspond to the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles. And probably the easiest way to find those uh, percentile values is to use a cumulative uh, percentage column in a frequency distribution. Um, and you can do that here. Uh, we can s take this particular distribution. Again, we're using our example of age for 20 respondents. Uh, we got a sample size of 20, and we've got ages ranging from 18 to 22. We've got the frequency distribution here uh, in the second column, and then I computed the percentages and the in the third column, and the fourth column here has the cumulative percentages. Uh, and so now we can calculate the uh, quartile values using this table. And let's start by looking for um, the first quartile. Okay, this is the first quartile or Q1, which is the 25th percentile. And so what we want to do is we want to find the 25th percentile. So we'll look at the cumulative frequency distribution and we'll see that 15% of our sample is age 18 and 35% of our sample is age 19 or less. So 19 or 18. And so the 25th percentile has to fall in here. Right? So this distribution um, ranges from, this section of the distribution goes from the 16th percentile to the 35th, so the 25th percentile has to be in there and that would correspond to the age of 19, and so our quartile is going to be, quartile value is going to be 19. Now we could do, do another example here, we'll look for the second, in which case we're looking for the 50th percentile, and here we can see that we, it, the second category, age 19, goes up to 35% uh, of the distribution. And then from 35, we go up to the 65th, or 65 percent of the distribution with age 20. And so this category goes from the 36th percent to 65th. And we would say that the 50th percentile falls in here. And that means that the 50th percentile age is going to be 20. And 
so that's our 50th percentile. And then finally, we could look at uh, the, look for the third or the 75th percentile. And once again, if we start at the bottom, we go from 15% to 35% to 65%. Those are all below 75, the 75th percentile. But then our cumulative frequency jumps from 65 to 90%. So we've got from 66 to 90% in this category of the distribution. And we would say that our 75th percentile falls in this category. And that means that the 75th percentile is going to be a value of 21. And so we've got now our 3, 21. Let me get the right colors here. 21. And now we've got our three quartile values here. Uh, 19 represents the first quartile, 20 represents the second, and 21 rep re represents the third. So this is one example of how to find uh, the quartile values using cumulative percentages in a frequency distribution table. In the next video I'll show you how to do it using uh, the interpolation method and our um, ranking uh, formula for calculating the value of percentiles.